Okay, I'm going to try my best to get through this. Sorry about that. I'm going to try my best to get through this video without getting emotional. But I'm not going to make any promises. So, once again, this video will not be edited because I want to be as transparent and as open and honest as possible. So, here we go. Hey everyone, it's Dora. How's everyone doing today? I hope wherever you are in the world that you are safe, you are okay, because in this video I'm going to talk about the importance of having hope and how this coronavirus situation has affected myself as well as people that I know who I love and care about. So this is going to be like a dual type of, I guess, a motivational chit chat um, slash life update. I don't know. Um... If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dara K. Fulton, and on this channel, we talk all things motivation, as well as some creative stuff in the mix, as well as Entrepreneur Life, which is a brand new series where I take you along my journey being a business owner. If you're wondering what that is, the name of my business is right behind me, Applied ESL, which is an online English tutoring service that helps build adult learners' confidence while practicing and improving their English speaking skills. Um, this video is not scripted. Um, I'm really just going to speak from the heart. Um, forgive me if my energy is not as like usual because um, friends, family, anyone who's watching, we are in a crisis and there's no other nice way or way of saying it. We are in a crisis and I can't sit here and act like I'm not affected by it because I'm sure a lot of you are also affected by it. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is to let you know that even as difficult the situation is, we must be hopeful. We must have hope. And I just finished doing an Instagram live video. So if you follow me on my Instagram, I will have all the information in the description box down below and you can check out my live video I just posted it literally five minutes ago um, but I wanted to do an actual video to all of my YouTube friends out here so let's talk about this coronavirus this is something we've been seeing in the media we've been hearing about it it's a day-by-day -day situation where every day there's something new happening we're hearing about people dying we're hearing about people getting sick from it we're hearing about closings of schools and, and and restaurants and sporting events and just all kind of protocol and it's so heavy and it's just so much that if you are a person like me who have issues with depression or just an everyday person who's just trying to take all this stuff in it is really really difficult it really is it hits home i'm not going to lie i spent most of my day on the phone talking with my family well my on my husband's side of the family my own family here here in new york city um my friends and my former students across the water um i have a lot of friends and former students who are living in their prospective countries and um it's tough it's tough because we are all being affected by this and there's no denying that and it seems like this virus is not going away anytime soon so in my instagram live i talked about how to have hope in general but i want to tie it into this situation how to have hope in general is when you're able to see something or face a situation that you're not quite happy about that you're not sure how to solve or not sure how to deal with it but you want to believe it will get better and how to get there is by doing things to keep you occupied and to make you feel happy and it could be the smallest of thing but it makes such a big difference for example for me walking helps me a lot when i walk when i maybe cook my favorite meal when i'm creating something like this poster board behind me um when i write i have a journal this is my business journal by the way and i love the message it says, here's to strong women. May we know them. May we be them. May we, may we raise them. Um, <clears throat> you know, maybe wear our favorite type of clothing. Like I love my little turban. I love brooches, as you can see. Um, anything we can do to somehow put a smile on our face. That really makes a difference because 
when we feel good and we feel positive, it builds our confidence. It makes us feel like, okay, I don't know how to get out of this situation or maybe there's nothing I can do about it, but things will get better. I have faith that things will get better. If you are a believer, you know that, you know, prayer definitely helps. And when you pray to God, he will help you deal and cope with the situation at hand. He will give you that that guidance and that love to let you know that he hasn't forsaken you and that, you know, he's he has your back. He's walking with you along this journey. And, you know, even in knowing that and, and, and all that I'm saying, there's some of you might may be watching this video and say, OK, Dara, I understand what you're saying, but I don't feel the hope. I don't feel it. I don't feel that's going to get better. And the reason why I'm addressing this is because with this coronavirus in particular, and every time we turn around, it just seems like there's more and more cases of people losing their life. They're not here anymore. You know, it's hard to believe that things will get better when every time you turn around, it's just death, 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 sickness, 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 shut down, shut down, shut down, quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. It's really hard to feel like, yeah, things are going to get better, you know, and just know I empathize with you. I sympathize and I empathize. And this video is not to tell you that it's okay to feel bad. I mean, not to feel bad or to tell you, oh, just get over it. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. And let me just say now, and I'm going to try not to get emotional saying this. If you are really feeling crappy about this, just know I understand because I'm feeling pretty crappy about it too. If you are feeling like you don't know what to do, you are beside yourself, you're scared. If you are scared, know that I feel you because so am I. If you are worried about your health and you're not sure how to go about your daily routine, I get it. Just know everything that you feel is valid and don't feel ashamed about it. Don't feel bad. Don't beat yourself up over it because this is life. This is life. It doesn't matter if we 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 on youtube or we're on social media this is life there are things that are beyond all of this there are things we are just not going to understand as human beings as much as we want to believe that we can understand everything and i'm sure the conspiracy theorists have their thoughts and you have those who feel like no this is just all what it is and their own opinions but this is life we are all on this journey called life together none of us are exempt i don't care if you're rich i don't care if you're poor i don't care we all are on the same path and it's real and i can't lie to you and say that watching this video is going to make you feel better or somehow it's going to give you the answer that you're looking for all i can say is and this is coming from my heart is that all we can do is maintain hope because keeping hope alive really keeps us moving forward. We have to take the necessary precautions. We have to be safe. We have to follow the rules. I don't care if you think because you've been living a certain lifestyle that's who cares, you know, I can just continue it. If living a certain lifestyle is going to cause you harm and the harms of others, for example, if you're the type of person who likes to sneeze without covering your mouth and you feel, hey, I can do what I want, great but you have to know that you're putting other people at risk if you think it's okay to if you're a business owner and you're selling items like toilet tissue and paper towels and hand sanitizer and you know that it doesn't cost 150 dollars, but you put that price tag on because you somehow want to make money i know you feel you can do what you want but you're hurting the community you're hurting people because people are already scared and they're worried and price gouging and this that's what it's basically called and doing this is not helping the situation we need to help each other this is also a way that we can have hope we can't use this opportunity to milk people out of money or to take advantage of people we have our elders our elder parents and grandparents who are really going through a tough time because el the elderly or people with weak immune systems are the most prone to catching this virus we must as adult children look after our loved ones make sure that they're good get them the things that they need um this is not the time to act like you all that in a bag of chips and, and forget about your loved ones the people who have stood by you all your life you can't do that help your fellow neighbor help people because helping people helps yourself um i've made a decision today two decisions the first one is as many of you know i 
love to talk all things motivation. But one of the things that I haven't done and I'm actually doing now starting today is I am offering an ear to anyone who needs to talk, who needs to express themselves, to share how they feel. Forgive me, that's my pipe making noise, but we're going to keep this video rolling. Um, I'm here to offer that to you. If you need to talk, you need to be heard. Email me. My email is in the description box down below. If you follow me on Instagram, DM me. If you follow me on Facebook, message me. I don't care how you do it. If you have my personal number, WhatsApp me. I mean, I'm willing to do that because I know what it feels like to feel alone and I don't want you to feel that way. I want you to feel hopeful and I want you to feel like you're going to get through this. I'm not a doctor. I, I cannot diagnose you and, and I'm not here to do that. I'm just here to be a friend and to let you know that we're all going to be okay. Um, the second thing I've decided to do, and this is regarding my business. There are a lot of ESL students out there and for my ESL teachers, I know, I feel your pain. If you are a classroom teacher, that's how I started my career in the classroom. And with this coronavirus, schools are shutting down and everything's being transferred to online learning. Now, to some people, they might feel like, hey, what's the big deal? But it is a big deal. If you've never taught online, it's a huge big deal. It takes a huge adjustment. I should know. So what I'm here to do is two things. The first thing I'm willing to do is offer my services to anyone out there who needs assistance. If you already are in an ESO program, but you have been displaced by that due to this coronavirus, I'm here to help. Just message me. We'll talk. We'll figure it out. If you're an ESO teacher and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? You know, maybe you had a plan, a lesson plan, and your school has been shut down. Everyone's been displaced and you need assistance. You need guidance or some type of any something. Talk to me. I am willing to do my life's work because it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time anyway. I'm here to help. How can I help? How can I assist you? And um, together, I do believe that we can start to feel hopeful during this very difficult, emotional, and scary time. All of my contacts is in the description down below. If you want to learn more about my business, my website, flydsl.com. Check it out. Um, what you see is what you get, friends. Um, so there's, 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 there's no script, okay? Um, there's, there's nothing pre-planned. This is just me talking to you and letting you know that I'm here to help as much as I can. I love you all so much. And I've spent the day reaching out to and everyone I can possibly think of to see how they're doing. If I haven't reached out to you personally, just know that you're in my prayers, you're in my thoughts. Um, Everything's going to be okay. This too shall pass. We just have to try our best not to get too afraid, not to panic, stay calm, have a sound mind, and do our very best to maintain our lifestyle the best way we know how. I'm getting extremely choked up, so I think that's my cue to end this. But you know, I'm not afraid to share my emotions because YouTube, there, it's, it's a good tool, but there are a lot of people in here, I feel, that like to be fake and like to put on this narrative, like everything is great when everything's not. And I'm not here to bring anyone's mood down. We, we do need the, the, the cheering up. We do. With friends, I can't be fake. And I hope that my message resonates with you and it makes a difference. Please share this video. Share my videos. I, I would really appreciate that. You know, if you like what you heard, like it comment if you like subscribe you're welcome to you, you i promise you you won't regret it but share my video share the message because there are a lot of people right now who are really going through a tough time and i feel confident that if they can listen or see someone that they can relate to i really believe it will make a tremendous difference i love you all so much thank you for listening to this message i'll see you in the next video Keep smiling, keep striving. Know that we will all be okay despite all this that's going on. I love you all so much. I am praying for all of you and your families. Please stay safe. Please stay safe. Follow the necessary precautions and I'll see you in the next video. Love you all so much.